Hi folks, welcome to your latest MWIS Outlook that's updated on Tuesday the 16th of March. Now, a fairly quiet weather story as we go through this week into the weekend. High pressure is on the sea and a few complications in there though with the areas of low cloud which will be rather extensive at times but some inversion conditions too where some of the highest summits poke out above some of those low cloud layers. Very little rainfall in total, the odd day where a bit of patchy drizzly rain may just be around though. Now, temperatures will generally be above freezing point to the highest summits for a good few days onwards, so we can dispense with the freezing level chart for a change. A touch of frost may be occasionally in some of the valleys and the glens, but nothing out of the ordinary for the middle of March. Charts then for the days ahead. Here's Wednesday. High pressure is parked just to the west of us, and we've got a general north by northwesterly drift coming across the British Isles. Still a rather blustery wind in places, making things feel rather chilly. Now, a weak warm front which lies to towards the northwest of Scotland will just drift onto the coast to bring a few patches of light drizzly rain uh, just around coastal regions, uh, typically north from about Mull, amounting to very little but just one or two areas where that could stay damp for a good few hours and some low cloud shrouding the hills here. Further eastwards though across the highlands that cloud breaking up uh, largely many of the hills clear and a similar clear story across most of England and Wales. Now I'll take you through a cloud chart and this just giving you an indication where the lowest level cloud will be. Once you're into the red colours on this chart, it's almost at banks of cloud to sea level. We'll take the story on in the next day or so just to show how things subtly change as air just topples around the high which is parked to our west. Now some of that air will have come around from the mid-Atlantic. It's got some tropical maritime origins so it's quite a damp source where it's come from originally and that's just the recipe for some uh, extensive low-level cloud banks. Now this is as we start the day on Thursday. The focus is around the west and north of Scotland where extensive very low-level cloud is just likely to hang around much of the day on Thursday. Some of the very highest tops may just be poking out above an inversion so that chance is there and the further you are into the central highlands most likely that cloud sheet is broken up it's draped around uh, the north and western coasts probably getting into the northern Cairngorms though. Also the risk of some banks of very low level cloud around the Irish Sea too lapping into parts of Wales. Down the Pennines generally more in the clear but just as the wind flow turns a bit more north easterly some low cloud over the North Sea could well get in here as we go onwards into Friday. A similar picture to the north of Scotland on Friday daytime where very low level cloud hangs around across northern regions best of the breaks further towards the west. Not that much to see then on Thursday's synoptic chart with a weak frontal system just away toward the east. Now one or two spits and spots just locally around any of those low cloud banks but never really amounting to anything. And still the wind coming around from the north could be locally gusty in a few places, particularly more eastern hills and mountains and just locally around some coasts in the far west as well. Temperatures typically uh, above freezing by a few degrees and some of the very highest tops if you're above an inversion could be a degree or so warmer again. Now there is a front drawn on this chart but it's one that doesn't have too much energy on it uh, being within a general zone of high pressure but what it does leave is that legacy of moisture and somewhere across the south of Scotland, north of England, a uh, likelihood of an extensive sheet of cloud and still that residual cloud toward the north of the highlands as we've seen as well. Now just south of that front chillier air is being briefly drawn across the southern portions of Britain and that really will just take the edge off the temperatures across the southern half of the Pennines and across Wales as well and one or two squibs of showers could even have a bit of sleet or hail mixed in but typically not amounting to a great deal. Towards the western side of Scotland then the cloud sheets just like to break up to give some sunshine with the winds mostly light but just watch for things being a little bit gusty for a time around that front toward the eastern side of the highlands and maybe a, quite a strong gusty northeasterly at least part of the day across the hills of England and Wales. By Saturday, the leftovers of that front exist somewhere across central England and Wales. Again, could leave a legacy of cloud, much of it above the hills, but could just settle for a time onto some higher tops, especially in the morning. Further north, a generally cloud breaking up across northern England and the south of Scotland and much of the eastern side of the highlands as well. The risk of some low cloud banks maybe just drifting back in to western coasts in Scotland as the airflow here turns back towards the Atlantic. 
generally a fair day in prospect for many places I would have thought it's a dry story overall winds are mostly light maybe just a bit of a strengthening breeze across northern tops in Scotland temperatures then feeling pleasantly mild and spring like with that air mass having come around from more milder mid-Atlantic sources the high just begins to shuffle southwestwards a bit by Sunday, so opening up a bit more of a, a westerly flow across Britain as a whole. And that may just pull more in the way of cloud across many western mountains, maybe some spits and spots locally, but overall a dry picture. Best cloud breaks further towards the east of the highlands and across much of the Pennines and maybe a fair amount of Wales does OK as well. Just watching what the little front over the Atlantic does in terms of maybe later on just a few spots of rain perhaps coming Coming in to Western Scotland. Now the ongoing story into next week looks relatively straightforward although there's uh, some differences between some of the forecast simulations but most suggestions keep high pressure nearby most likely focused just to the southern half of Britain and lower pressure somewhere around Greenland and Iceland which just allows that west by southwesterly wind uh, to affect northern Scotland particularly and leaving western Scottish mountains perhaps uh, more plagued by more frequent low cloud and some patchy rain or drizzle at times. Typically not uh, amounting to a great deal. It looks a fairly quiet weather pattern, but just maybe a few uh, spoiler days across uh, the western northwest highlands. So not so grand in that part of the world. Elsewhere, eastern Scotland, much of England and Wales, chances are a largely dry outlook in the later part of March. Some inversion conditions around at, play at, uh, at times in places and those higher tops above some of the early morning fog banks. So looks relatively quiet. Temperatures still hovering around around uh, the milder side of things I would have thought maybe just the odd cooler day particularly in northern Scotland but overall generally above freezing. You can stay up to date with all your local details for your area of course every day on our website next video online for you on Friday. Thanks for watching bye for now.